Housing advocates in New Orleans are applauding the Biden administration's plan to temporarily freeze evictions in COVID hotspots, but they say that's not enough to solve the city's affordable housing problem. They claim it's a problem that preceded the pandemic, but some city leaders are pushing back on that. Tan Chung puts the issue into focus tonight. With thousands of families in New Orleans unsure how they'll pay their rent or mortgage as the pandemic drags on, the mayor's office is sending out a message that they are a priority. My main goal is to keep people housed, keep people off the street, and to develop affordable housing. When it comes to affordable housing, though, the advocacy group Housing NOLA says the city of New Orleans deserves an F. Under the Land Use Administration, the city set a goal of creating 7,500 affordable housing units by the end of 2020. Mayor LaToya Cantrell inherited that goal. Map. And according to Housing NOLA's annual report card last year, the city managed to deliver just under 1,600 units. Executive Director Andranika Morris is skeptical about those numbers improving this year. They refuse consistently to uh, point to a schedule on when affordable housing is going to be brought online. I believe that there's still a need for affordable housing, and I think that need will be with us for many years. I think we have to take a multi-prong approach, and it's going to actually be a multi-year approach. Cantrell's chief of staff says Housing NOLA's grading system is arbitrary, and the administration is more concerned with immediate housing needs. He pointed to the city approving more than $18 million in rental assistance last month. The priority of our team is making sure that we're doing the work and less so whether or not um, we make folks happy about their ranking system. Their response to COVID relief has been lackluster. It's been better by comparison. It has not been good. The one point both sides agree on is that more rental assistance money needs to be redirected to cities like New Orleans, which have a high population of renters. New Orleans is actually slated to receive the third highest allocation after Baton Rouge and after Jefferson Parish, despite the fact that New Orleans has more renters. If the need is greater in New Orleans and less in other parishes, we certainly would like for those funds to be redirected to New Orleans. Aside from the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina, housing in New Orleans hasn't been this unstable in recent history. And the ultimate judges on how well the city is doing in providing affordable housing may very well be the people who need it the most. Tom Trung, Eyewitness News. And starting next Tuesday, the city will host a three-day rental assistance event at Joe Brown Park in New Orleans East. For more information on that, click on this story on WWLTV.com.